This is a ruling on a set of on a Muslim marriages order, and this is by the Kerala High Court, as we've said. This is what they've stated. They've said that Muslim marriages are not excluded from the protect, protection of children from sexual offences act. That's POXCO. Now they've said that a physical relationship with a minor is an offence, irrespective of the validity of the marriage between the two individuals, the man and the minor woman in this case. Now we're going to bring you more details on this entire story. First, my colleague Manu Bharat is with us. He is with us from News 18 Kerala. Let's go over to him. Uh, Manu, I believe this story concerns a 31-year-old Muslim man who is accused of kidnapping and raping a 16-year-old girl who is now his wife. Can you bring us more details? Yeah, the court made this observation in an order uh, the, while considering the bail petition uh, moved by a 31-year-old Bengal Nati. Uh, he was alleged of kidnapping and raping uh, minors. Anyway, the Bengal native claimed before the court that he had validly married a girl in March two, uh, 2021 under Muslim personal law. Uh, so he said that the allegation against him that he has subjected a minor is will not uh, is not maintainable. But the court anyway have not uh, has turned down his application. The issue came to light when this. Uh, a 14-year-old girl sought for medical at attention at the Kavir uh, Health Center, where the doctors found that uh, verifying her Aadhaar card, she was uh, only about 14 years, or less than 16 years. So the matter was uh, uh, was intimated to the police, and the Tiruvalla police has registered a case against it. And when uh, the case was registered, sections of POXO was included. Anyway, the court... Um, uh, the counsel representing the accused in the bail petition uh, argued that uh, since Mohammedan law permits the marriage of girls below 18 years, such marriage uh, has, has been legally valid. Hmm. But here the court, uh, uh, the court uh, ruled that uh, this, uh, this, uh, that um, uh, since the girl is below 18 years and the POXO case is in, uh, is, is, uh, is adopted. So the uh, the case cannot be maintained, and the court also expressed doubts whether the uh, child marriage can be accepted under this law. And uh, the other thing was the court also noted that the girl had been uh, kidnapped from her house without the consent of the parent, and the girl was uh, even because 16 years old. So okay. uh, the personal law, uh, the the he said that the court said that um, the bail proceedings according. Uh, Seeking remedy under the personal okay. uh, personal law will not is not maintained. Okay, Manu Bharat, thank you for those details. I do want to also take our colleagues over to our legal correspondent and anchor Anusha. She's with us right now. Anusha, this latest ruling comes weeks after the Karnataka High Court had uh, passed a similar order on October 31st. For our audiences, can you give us more of a national perspective on what this order and this ruling could mean? Well, uh, Toya, one should understand it like this: that this entire matter, whether the personal Muslim law, it's a, it's a, it's a practice in Muslim personal law that even if a girl is below 18 and she attains puberty, she can be married. That's the practice under Sharia, and for for many decades it has been going on. It has not been overruled or termed unconstitutional or illegal by any court of law or by any statute of parliament. Now, this entire matter right now is pending before the Supreme Court of India. You'd remember the NCPCR has moved the Supreme Court saying that the entire order that was earlier given by various high courts, including the Punjab and Haryana High Court, uh, that, you know, you can actually marry off girls under 18 and it's not violative of the POXO Act is actually bad in law. So on the larger legal position, this matter is yet to be settled by the Supreme Court of India till that adjudication happens. Now, what we are witnessing right now, what we are witnessing essentially is various conflicting orders coming in from different high courts across the country. Whether it's the Punjab and Haryana High Court, the Karnataka High Court, the Kerala High Court, or uh, you know uh, the the Supreme Court of India still yet to decide that matter. As and when, on a case to case basis, there are different scenarios emerging. The different high courts are taking a view on it. To simply put it for our viewers, the question is this: that if there is a law in this country that girls below 18 cannot get married, it's it's a violation of their body autonomy and their child rights, then can a rider be given uh, or a go away be given just because a girl is Muslim, uh, because it's a practice accepted under Muslim law. So those are the broad questions that need to be settled, at least in this case. There is a view that the Kerala High Court has taken. And for the facts of this case, 
that view is going to prevail. But on the larger constitutional issue, it's a matter with the Supreme Court of India. Anusha, thank you for bringing us those details and for putting that into context. All right.